That's too much. What are we going to see? You see, they had a lot of trees out there, right? The trees were keeping back the water. And the trees, they threw the water, flowing all the time, years and years and years going back. This beach is an old, is an old sick because every day the water progen and progen and progen and nobody to repair. The diseases that we have now is only diarrhea and vomiting the people coming in with. Yeah, the portable water from the lines, at least from the, the pipelines and so on, all get contaminated. Eh? Uh -huh. And so the, the people got sick. Miss Daglish, this may all be Greek to you, but I wish you could have seen those those 50-foot drainage canals. Oh, they were perfect. The way they, they ran right out to the sea with the caisson sluices, it was spectacular. I saw it at sunset as the tide was falling. I was very interested in how they, they used the stone blocks to break the force of the waves before they could strike the sluices and the dams. That will be the sea defense system of the future, Ms. Daglish. Progress is being made in the colony. That much is certain. Flying. It's all we need, really. Flooding, mud everywhere. You know, I sometimes think that this blasted country is cursed. Not really fit for human habitation, I always say. Until one day when a terrible thing happened. A terrible thing come to pass. Put a blight on the wall for years to come. No more preening and parading. Wall empty like graveyard, only jumpy walking. That was the day they discovered the body of a girl. The word was, uh, it's, it's a cross to treat for one of the houses in town. All cut up and battered up. Like a piece of debris that the sea tossed against the rocks and wash up onto the wall during the night. Ah! Uh -huh. 